Hi, this is example number 6.3. We are working here with trusses, and in this case, it's a simple truss, and I will use uh, the joint method. We will always assume that all members are positive in tension and then a negative value means they are in compression. We will start first by determining or analyzing the trust to see if we, we have any members that do not carry any load. It means zero force members. To do that, we analyze each of our joints and we here we see that we have three members and two external loads, so we cannot say anything about any of the members analyzing this joint. When we go to joint D, we see that we have two collinear members and one that is non-collinear. So if we would add forces perpendicular to that, those two collinear members, we will see that we don't have anything that will contrarest this member. Therefore, this member over here is a zero force member. Then we will analyze this joint over here. Since this is zero, we have two members and only one that is non-collinear. Since this one is zero, therefore, this one is also zero. So we have this truss will be equivalent to have only the external members and those internal members are only set there if we change the external conditions. But for these external conditions, they carry no load. So now that we have these two equals to zero, we see that this joint over here has only two members, therefore only two unknowns. Therefore, we will start in joint E. So we will do the free body diagram of joint E. And as I told you, we will assume those members are positive. Therefore, I will draw the line going out the joint. And I will call this reaction EA, and this will be the reaction ED. And since this is 30 degrees and this is a right triangle, therefore, this over here is 60 degrees. So therefore, I know this is 60. Well, of course, I could also say that this is 30, right? So whatever angle you want to use, right? Then we have two external loads, which is 600 pounds and 450 pounds. Now that we have our free body diagram complete, we can do the equations of equilibrium. Adding forces in x equals to zero lead me to the following equation. I have 450 plus the reaction ED, and I have, I have to multiply by cosine of 30, which is square root of 3 over 2. And that will be equals to 0. That allowed me to find already that the reaction ED is equals to, I have it right here, negative 519.1 pounds. Since I got a negative value, and I assume, assume that this was positive because I draw it going out of the joint, I know that this member is in compression. Now, let's add forces in Y, and then we have negative 600, negative reaction EA, negative reaction ED, and now I have to multiply by the cosine of 60, right? Or the sine of 30. That's equals to zero. Therefore, from here, I plug this value over here, and I have to include the negative sign into this magnitude to, to be able to solve for this reaction right here. So this reaction right here will be negative 600 right, negative ED 
one half, and that leads me to the value, and I have it right here, negative 340.2 pounds. Since I got a negative value, it means that it's also in compression. It means that these two loads that I'm applying are making this bar to be in compression and this one in compression as well. Now that we analyze this one, we can do a joint D, free body diagram. Let me do it a little bit over here so that I will have more space. Free body diagram of joint D. And as I said, I will draw all my joints going out of my joint, even though I already know that they are in compression. Because what I will use is the value that I already found. So in this case, I will, even though for this here, I use our regular horizontal and vertical coordinate system, here for me it's easier to add forces in a tilted coordinate system, x prime and y prime, because I don't have any forces, I don't need to decompose because I don't have any forces in the y prime direction. All my forces are in the x prime direction. So I can add forces in x prime, that will be equals to zero. Remember that since we are talking about the system being in equilibrium, it has to be in equilibrium in any direction, not only in horizontal and vertical direction. It can be in a tilted direction, which in this case is, this is, since this is 30 degrees, this is also 30 degrees. So that will be equals to then negative RED plus positive DC equals to zero. Therefore, RDC is equals to RED. That gives me the value. When I plug the number over here that I already found, including the negative value, gives me this is 519.1, sorry, point 0.1. And since I got a negative value over here, this is also in compression. So, so far, we have been able to find this one right here, this one right here, this one right here. So we are missing these two. We have to do the free body diagram of A and the free body diagram of C, or the free body diagram of this value right here, which is B. Let me write it here, B. So let's continue with the free body diagram of joint C. And then I have here two forces of the members, which is the reactive force BC and the reactive force that I call a, here DC. And this is already known, right? So this is already known. And then I have the external force, which is CY. Why only one? Because this is a roller. A roller creates only one reactive force in the vertical direction. And we know that this is 30 degrees. Therefore, we can add forces using my equations of equilibrium. We add forces in x. And we found that negative RBC minus RDC and its cosine of 30, which we know is square root of 3 over 2, is equals to 0. And from here, I can find the value of BC, and I have it right here, is 450 pounds. As you see, since this is negative, we found it right here, and this is negative, that gives me a positive value for BC. And a positive value, it means that 
my member is in tension. So we were able to find this one over here. We could add forces in Y and find the re external reactions. We have been asked only to find the forces in the member. So I will move forward to analyze joint B. And the joint B, since this is zero and this is zero, it has only two forces, which is the reaction force of AB or BA and the reaction force of BC. And I don't have these two. Therefore, here it's very clear that R, R, RBA negative plus RBC are equals to zero. Therefore, RBA is equals to RBC. That means that RBA is also 450 pounds, also in tension. So we were able to solve for all members of our trust. If we'd like to find the external reactions, we could either go and treat the truss as a rigid body and find the external reactions, or since we already found all the members, we can, for example, add forces in Y here and find CY, and then do the free body diagram of joint A and add forces in X and Y, and since we have those two, we will be able to find the external reactions. But in this case, we will concentrate only in the members and that's what we already did.